All right, hey guys, so I'm on my phone because my GoPro is full. My other card is full and my computer is broken and my other computer broken. So uh, I still want to get some videos out to you guys. I am currently in the midst of, uh, ooh, I'm in the midst of like cleaning up everything. Um, like I said, we're doing a full part out of this uh, turbo car that we made, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna part out everything pretty much. The whole car is coming down to bo bones, and we're going to get everything finished off tomorrow. I'm hoping all the interior is done, the motor can be pulled, so it's gonna be very packed in here. I gotta organize all these things a little bit better. I cleaned it up earlier, but still, I need to just figure out what I'm doing with this. Put that aside, make some space here, get that motor, bring it over. Uh, the seats are going to go in the basement. Um, I might have somebody come for some parts tomorrow, but regardless, I don't think they'll be taking everything. So, uh, you definitely need to... Oh, I found the sticker. I definitely need to uh, clean up all this wiring. I got all the gauges still. Um, the whole engine harness is here, the wire relocate, like the battery relocate I had. Uh, we pulled that out just because that was running to the back. We wanted to get uh, everything out from the back first and work our way like forward. Just because like that, once I finish off with this water meth stuff tonight, uh, pretty much just going to be filling up the back as we go forward. Um, all we really have left on the back is the hatch. So it's just two bolts on the bottom and then that's it, it's done and ready to go. Uh, and yeah, my buddy Josh came by today, two hours, we did big damage to this car, so I'm very happy, thank you Josh again, uh, he's gonna be coming over tomorrow after he's done work, I'm gonna be done work tomorrow early, so this weekend pretty much just getting like the car done, getting it just shipped out, I got all the exhaust stuff underneath done, um, pretty much left is the rear trailing arm uh, the front subframe of course and all the motors and uh, the front struts what else oh two bolts holding up the gas tank and then I got the evap on the other side that's what's pretty much holding it up that's why I left the two bolts on the gas tank either side just so I can not stress the the, the neck and all of that stuff and maybe see if I can sell that too I don't know um, I need help no one knows where to get rid of gas tanks. Every place I try to go to, I have to, you know, get charged to bring them. And I get it, but I'm trying to find a spot. Uh, maybe if somebody needs a gas tank, let me know. I'll give a gas tank away for free. Um, however, they will not come with the pumps or the carriages or anything like that because that I can save and I can sell. Gas tanks, I don't really need pumps people need so that's pretty much it uh yeah uh, like subscribe do what you guys gotta do um me and josh gonna have more stuff coming out tomorrow very sorry about all the computer stuff trying to work on that too but um really just couldn't op like couldn't miss this opportunity to work on the cars get everything that i need to get done this weekend uh and just start sorting everything out getting all my parts in order Listing them, uh, cleaning everything up in the shop. I'm going to be hoping to get all of my parts moved out from the basement, clean up the whole house, uh, and just have basically where the car is sitting now, just full of parts. Like, this whole side of the garage is full of parts. Um, maybe some bins. I got some, maybe to get some more bins. I'm hoping uh, like that I can organize them better. Plus, I have some stuff that I'm going to be putting onto the Jetta. I got some more uh, Jeep Springs, and if you know much about Jeep Springs and Jettas or, and Volkswagens, you can lift them for that. So, we're going to get a lift kit on the Jetta soon, and they needed a hub. Good thing this car has a spare hub, so I'm going to use these hubs. Uh, I'm going to take the, sorry, I'm gonna take these struts because these struts are cleaner. Take them off and, and shop, um, replace them with the Jeep Springs. Out here ready to go so I can just go in there put a new hub put a new strut everything all one shot and have it lifted 
and then I'll have spares for the rears. I gotta make shock extensions in the rears, and that should be good. I'm hoping to get three or four inches from it. Then I also got bigger tires in the backyard that I have sitting there, and I'm going to uh, smack those on my spare rims for the Volkswagen and see how that goes. It's gonna be a quite little adventure. A couple little weeks, a lot of car stuff getting done. Um, after that, I'm pretty much going to chill for the cars for a little bit. I'm going to be focusing on the F-150, getting rid of that. Then I'm going to be focusing on my sled, cleaning that up, getting rid of that. I'm just pretty much cleaning the house, getting everything in order. Uh, i got to also do a teardown on the VR6 built motor. Uh, long story short, pretty much I just smacked everything together. Took all the motor apart uh, and put everything back together. I did not check any clearances and I've been talking to a lot of people and that is very important. Plus, you know what, it's kind of like winter. So once I have the time, I would like to open it up, go through it. I know the head needs to be, uh, the valves need to be lapped in the head. I just never did it. I just put it up together car ran it was good with me but that definitely shows a lot of the vacuum leaks I had and I'm worried about my oiling issue my oil pressure was quite low I wasn't running the right oil I found it out after again so lots of things that I just gotta double check go through thoroughly go through this time take measurements check my clearances and everything like that but I'm trying you know it's new to me doing car motors like I'm good with the sleds, good with like lawnmowers, chainsaws, stuff like that. But a full-on car overhaul, uh, it's a first for me. So, um, yeah, anyways, we're learning, you know. And it's a good thing I had a spare head because when we were taking out the valve, uh, the valve guides, uh, the hammer slipped and I smacked a dent in that one. So, that's not good no more. But it actually would be good if I need to go big valve head, you know, oversized got to board out and all that or um, machine it out uh, so I'm just keeping it for now so if you guys need any parts you guys let me know I am in Vaughan Ontario I'm gonna go hit the hay I had a long day and uh, I gotta start early tomorrow morning too so have a good day Indiana Motors peace